But even if they don't get discontinued, this in the green is still the hardest to get. The mother of pearl is, yeah, it's maybe a different level. This feels unlike any other Rolex that I've held in my hand. It's a watch, it's pretty difficult for us to get. I just think it's fantastic that it's your first Rolex purchase. Absolutely beautiful. The watching question is the the blue motif, one, two, six, three, three, four, 41 mil. Because I was just going to go for the plain blue dial. I was literally just saying to your colleague. But even yeah. if they don't get discontinued, this, continue, this yeah. in the green is still the hardest to get. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? We're not necessarily charging more because there's talks of discontinuing. Mm -hmm. It's just genuinely the past two weeks since you've texted me, uh -huh. I've genuinely been trying to locate one. And no one wants to me. sell one because That's obviously they'll win. Because it's like, you know, the harder it is. But I mean, to be fair, I bought them for my sons eventually, but selfishly, they're for me, really. Yeah, but of course. Well, you're going to wear them and enjoy them for a exactly few years, right, yeah. yeah. But it's just been so hard to locate because obviously mm -hmm. any private person doesn't want to sell, they'd rather wait till tomorrow. And Absolutely. it's the same with traders, they'd rather, rather see what happens, so. Exactly. Oh, it's class, mate. Yeah, you happy with that? Yeah, really, I'm delighted with it. Yeah, mate, took, yeah. a, took a little while, didn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 hey, it's absolutely worth the wait though, isn't it? And I'll quickly show you, so you've got your day just booklet here, yeah. and then your warranty card, so it's literally days. That. Right. So okay. it's literally yeah. pretty recent within the last six yeah, months. So small. no problem. Are you happy with that? I'm absolutely delighted with this. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's... It always makes it better when there's a little bit of a weight as well. A bit yeah, of anticipation. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. No, no. I'll grab you some bits, mate. I'll grab yeah, a bag for you and everything. Thank okay. you very much indeed. No. I love the uh oh, sorry. Which one? The black and gold. Uh, the GMT? Oh, the GMT. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Uh, do you know what, bezel. what I should have done is, I should have maybe waited on the day just and maybe gone for something like that, just to have a little bit of variation, but it is. It is, it is, a, it is a nice watch, I'll show you. But a lot of people don't actually realise it's got the black and the grey bezel. Because ah, on right. pictures, it almost looks like it's black and black. Did you think it was black and black? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's got the grey the grey bezel as well. That's one thing I thought that might bring out is a, is a steel GMT, but with the Jubilee strap, it would maybe bring it out with the black and the grey bezel, but... Spot on, mate. Okay. Thank you so Thank you much. Again. Really, really appreciate it. It is a submariner, yeah. it is pressure tested, yeah. but if you're going to go in the water, I would wear So, Hendo, else. this is actually one of the watches that we talked about in the back cave, isn't it? It is. The watch was manufactured in 1991. Mm -hmm. It was sold brand new in 1998. Yeah. Don't ask me the question where it was for seven years. Maybe one of the goldsmiths managers had put it out the back for himself one day or... Impressed. All we need to do now is set the date and the time. Uh, there is a little bit of adjustment, but I don't think yeah. you're going to get better than that. So I'll just set it up for you. And then what I will do, because me being an old salesman, not a new salesman, I'll let you try on your next one. <laughs> so when you're done with this one, that's what you can go for. Nice. So that might be a little bit tight for you. I wouldn't normally be wearing that, and, but it belongs to a friend of mine and he keeps saying that it's not running right. And when he comes to watch this, there's nothing wrong with your watch. You're just a watch hypochondriac. Every time it misses a beat, he thinks that there's something wrong with it. So we'll set this one up. I've obviously refurbished this one. 1998 and it's still got the sticker on the back. Um, I left it on. It, when you wear it, it may come off. Yeah. The gentleman that had it only wore it for high days and holy days. If you're going to wear it, wear it, enjoy it. That's what watches are made for. Yeah. I just think it's fantastic that it's your first Rolex purchase. When you come to wear it, mm -hmm. so pull the crown out, yeah. give it 20 turns. It gives your watch longevity. Even though it's automatic, people think you just put them on and shake them. They've got to be wound. You've got to build up a little bit of amplitude in the movement and it will last a lot longer between services. Two turns, just make sure when it goes back in that it's tightened. Pick that in, safety catch down. Perfect. Thank you very right. much. That's the important bit. Mm -hmm. I sometimes advise people to take that out of the box, put that bit somewhere safe. Keep it away from the watch, keep it yeah. away from the box. Uh, there are all the booklets and everything with it. It comes with its handkerchief that was supplied in 1998. And that's it. Brilliant, thank you very much. There you go. It is all original, the box and everything. It's a little bit tatty of the outer, but it is original and that's the way that you should keep it. 
it, it's good when you get your first scratch because the first one then you get the second one. You know, so it doesn't matter how careful you are, you always do catch them. Please. One hobby. Great. And we'll go from the old to the new. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> So you happy, yeah? Yeah, more hobby. Cool. Here's a cleaning cloth. Watch pouch as well, so if you don't wear the watch, put it in there, it keeps it safe. Um, yeah. You good to go? As far as first watches go, Harry, it's very hard to beat for a first, first watch, so yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Anything else you need, just give me a shout. So, Joe, we have a really exciting watch in yes. store at the moment. This is a watch that was announced last year, but these are so rare. There must be one of the hardest watches that you can so, get from Rolex. At the moment, there's probably two listed in Europe. It's the first one we've seen in store. We've been offered very few of them and probably the most talked about watch of the year, really, among collectors. Okay, so it is none other than RLX Titanium yes. Yachtmaster. Now, this is a 42 millimeter watch. And the first thing you notice when you pick it up is the weight. Yes. You know, this feels unlike any other Rolex that I've held in my hand. I mean, it, it's, it is astoundingly lightweight. So Rolex say it weighs 100 grams, mm -hmm. but the size of the case on the wrist, it feels a lot smaller due to the weight. When you put it on your wrist, yeah. it's a lot less noticeable. It features a full RLX titanium bracelet, case, and the bezel. And then the insert of the bezel is ceramic. Ceramic, yeah. And it's partially matte and partially polished ceramic and then you also have i believe a new dial so it's an intense black dial they say it's more like a dark graphite i think they're, they're yeah. describing it as it's a very stealth looking watch would, it is what i would say it, it's i think it's one of the best looking watches that rolex have released in recent times you have a combination of finishing it's polished as you see on the on the clasp and then it almost is like a sandblasted mat on the inside there. But then you have this brushing on the links, on the clasp, and on the case itself. And it's in a few directions, so it's horizontal on the side yeah. of the case, and then it follows the direction of the lug on the top. But interestingly, you also have these chamfered parts on the lugs, which we don't see on a lot of modern cases like the Submariner or the GMT. No. It reminds me of like a, the vintage aesthetic. Yeah. So it's interesting now they've blended new technology, new materials with some vintage nods. Like you see that on the Tudors as well, on the Black Bays. What I would say as well, it took a long time for Rolex to perfect, to perfect this year. So yeah. that's, that's probably why it's been designed like this. So we know that it's grade five titanium, yeah. but it is an alloy. Rolex call it RLX, that's their own branding of it. It's a bit like Ever Rose for their rose gold alloy. It's very resistant to corrosion and it's supposed to be very scratch resistant. Yes, but cannot be polished once scratched. Yes, well, I mean, Rolex have clearly figured out how to, how to make the finish on the case. They've got polished sections, they've got brush sections. But yeah, I'd imagine unless you have the very specific tooling, it's going to be a very difficult watch to finish in this way. And I think that's partly why it's taken so long for Rolex to use titanium as a, as a material. We've pulled out the Yachtmaster 40 and we're going to weigh it alongside the titanium to see the weight difference. It's coming in at 106. Okay, and then if we put on the steel Yachtmaster 40, we're coming in at 151.2. Okay, so 50 grams, so that's... What it's, that? it's 50 percent best part of heavier. Yeah, um, but the difference is you notice immediately if you've got both of them, you see the actual size of the dial. That's striking, isn't it? It's a much bigger dial. The actual markers on the dial are a lot larger as well. It, it's much more like the 42 millimeter Oyster Flex. Flex yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe the hands are bigger. It's just the whole thing is more bold. But also what I would say is if you put them side by side, the titanium looks more like it should be a sports watch. It's yeah. not a dress watch. Yeah, it's it a tool watch. Yeah, it's a tool it? watch, yes. Let's talk about pricing, okay? The retail price of this is in the UK, 12,350 pounds. 12,350, but you will notice if you have a look online, you know, that three the, times the price. The reason for that is there's just so few of them in the market. There's, there's none, there's, as I say, there's, well, there's two in Europe yeah. at the moment. Some of the clients that WatchTrader have who are VIPs, 
struggle to get this watch. They've had every watch you can possibly think of and they've asked for this and been told no. Yeah, yeah. So do you think we're going to see more titanium used in watches very soon when it, in watches and wonders? They've trialled it with this one. We've seen very few of them, which would tell me is production hard on this. Yes, most probably. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's going to be something we will see mass produced. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we'll see it in our model. Obviously, you've got the Deep Sea Challenge, which isn't a wearable watch whatsoever. But yeah. again, we've seen, we've seen very few of them. I wouldn't see would see another model in titanium. I, I could think, be wrong. I think this is such a great aesthetic. I think it would look pretty amazing in 40 millimeter as well. Yes. But yeah, guys, let us know what you think. Is this a watch that's been on your wish list? Is it something that you would like to own? And do you think that Rolex are going to use RLX titanium in any future models going forward? It's, it's a watch which is it's pretty difficult for us to get, to be honest I've with you. I've been looking for it a year. Yeah, like, well, so I've been in, I've been in register for it in Rolex and just last didn't... summer. Yeah. I heard nothing. I wanted Mother of Pearl though, really. Yeah. And then registered last year, not got it, not heard anything. Yeah. I was 30 in December still, and I thought what it was for. Yeah. Didn't have it, couldn't get it. Gave up, gave up completely. And then my partner sent me this in minutes. Yeah. I was well, like, the champagne dials is still pretty beautiful, right? Yeah, the Mother of Pearl is, yeah, it's maybe a different level, but if we do ever manage to get one, you can always exchange it. I think it. I would, yeah, yeah, at a later date maybe, add a bit more money to it and get the Mother of Pearl. <gasps> How nice with the bracelet. Yeah, well. yeah, no, no, that size for you, I think it's really nice. Yeah, I went and tried this on in, um, in store and I knew it was the right size. So yeah, it comes with everything. As you would expect yeah. if you were buying a brand new. Okay. Amazing. What year is the watch? 2019, isn't it? Uh, 19, it is, yeah. 2019. Originally purchased in 2019, but with a lot of ladies. Well, that's what I was just going to say. With a lot of ladies' watches, you normally know, seem to either get them in a really beaten up state or you have them where they're hardly worn. Yeah. And you can see from this watch, it looks like it's perfect. So, is this your first roller? I've worn a silver one in the past, which was a 36. Right. And it bigger. covered my whole wrist and I hated it. Okay. And, and I went and tried the 28. That's hard to get hold of as well. Yeah. It's it? difficult because these watches, it, it's hard for us to buy them for a good price. Mm -hmm. And there's not many around. That's that's the thing. They really make you feel like they're going to ring you the next day with a watch. Really? Yeah. They're like, won't be long. Like, we'll just wait for one. And I was Surprising like, because they're really, you know, the stuff like this, if they could, if they could get, they would, they would love to be able to sell yeah. it to you. But it's fine. Go again. Yeah. yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I have a lady who's travelled two and a half hours to come and find a perfect watch. She's been waiting for over a year on the waiting list at Rolex. We've managed to locate a watch which is slightly under RRP also. It's a beautiful Rolex date just with the Jubilee brace of 31 millimeter with the champagne and diamond dial. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It is time for deal of the week. And this week we have an Omega watch. This is the Seamaster. Planet Ocean 600M. It features a steel case and bracelet. It has a ceramic blue dial and bezel. This watch comes in at 43.5 millimeter. And this example here is a 2020 watch. It has a sapphire crystal and open case back where you can see the caliber 8,900 inside. That is a master chronometer movement. Now this watch has a adjustable bracelet so you can adjust it on the fly and it also has a diver's extension so you can pop that out there and that'll fit over a wetsuit. I'm just going to pop that back in. Now this watch in the UK retails for £6,700. It's currently online at Watch Trader for £4,250 and the deal of the week price is going to be £3,750. To claim this price, you need to go on to watchtrader.co.uk, search the number 5897, add this product to your basket and enter the code YouTube 5897 to apply the discount. That is this week's Deal of the Week.